internet auntie auntie ren here again with another video today oh this one is going to be this is how we're kicking off the week this is how we're starting we're coming with a bang okay for monday so if you are new to the channel hello welcome come in settle in if you don't have a beverage or a snack yet pause go grab yourself something and come back because this is going to be a good one this is a great introduction to the channel over here we talk about luxury everything especially handbags uh shoes accessories clothing plus size luxury clothing yes and you know some more bits and bobs here and there so so i'm happy to have you here thank you so much for dropping in hopefully you'll stick around for a couple of videos if you are returning hello darlings welcome back oh my gosh okay so you know this was coming i had to do this video because this helps me to kind of set out and plan on what i'm going to be doing next or what i want in my collection next so this is a louis vuitton collection video so i think last time i did a video like this i did an slg and handbag um louis vuitton slg and handbag video um so i've never done a whole collection so this is everything that i <laughs> own that's louis vuitton um and you know i'm a louis lady so had to kick it off there um so yes yeah, so i've got quite a bit of things all around me so we're going to go through slgs we're going to go through uh footwear jewelry handbags you name it if i have it here i will bring it up um or show it or yeah <laughs> we'll have it so so settle in this is going to be a good one and this helps me to kind of see now for 2022 what's on my wish list what do i still want what do i want to add to my collection i feel like my collection right now to be honest um just looking at all of the things that i have is very uh monogram heavy very monogram heavy which th nothing wrong with that i like monograms so <laughs> that's why it's monogram heavy um so definitely looking to introduce some more leather pieces some more color into my um collection for sure but i knew that you know when i started i was looking for when i started my collection i was looking for more of my forever pieces or pieces that i wanted to have to kind of transcend time and trends and just have it in my collection regardless um and then branch out and have a bit of fun so i feel really good about my core collection or my forever collection right now so i'm definitely hyped to have a bit of fun for 2022 so don't be surprised if you see some more color or some different um fashion houses um you know perpetrating and coming into the collection but right now my collection is super monogram uh heavy so if this is something that you're interested in you're gonna love it all right so enough chit chat all right so what i'm going to do so that this is uh you know just a better experience for you all and so my arms don't get tired is i'm going to flip the camera around and angle you the other way and then just show you all of the bits and we'll go through everything from there so see you on the flip side bye hello there all right we are back at it so hopefully this angle works and you all can hear me but first thing um we're going to start off with in my collection is uh, a perfume louis vuitton contre moi um which oops, i didn't do a great job with that um <laughs> which um i have um personalized um and i'm obsessed i love it i don't know why it looks so foggy um but yeah i love this use it quite a bit i've had this for about a year honestly um and i use it quite a bit um it's very strong though so you don't have to um use too much of it at once just a couple of sprays and it'll last you the whole day so but that's my contre moi then i have um i'll go into some of my slgs i'll go into some of my pochettes and my uh 
uh, pochette clays so this is one of them this is a pochette clay in the marine rouge uh, um, which is like a navy and red color it has a zip back here and just an open space for cards and a little key fob on that really pretty the uh, chain on this one is really pretty for my six ring key holders I have uh, the Damier Graphite Damier Ebene <laughs> and um monogram one um the monogram one is not in use it has been retired um i keep meaning to go into louis vuitton to see if there's anything that they can do to bring this one back to life but i don't use this one this is the one that i am actively using right now which i'm obsessed with i've been in this one for about three years now um and i think it's holding up a lot better than the monogram one did and then this is my backup for when i'm retiring this one or ready to give this one a bit of a rest um i'll, I'll move into the damier bean one but i'm obsessed with six ring key holders as you can see and then another key pochette or pochette clay uh would be my uh key holder here or pochette clay um, it just has the one key fob here and then the open zipper spot which uh, houses my fob for my car and I'm obsessed. So yes, lots of key holders in the collection. Moving on to pochettes, I have my mini pochette in Damier Ebene which I always joke and say is ancient. It is quite old um i want to say it's at least over five years old um but i'm still obsessed with it i love it use it all the time still using it <laughs> as of right now it's a great catch-all it's a great um just to throw in your bag piece and just to keep your things organized but it has obvious wear and tear on it but never going to get rid of it it's a great great piece i'm obsessed and this is in Domier bean i have uh, additional pochettes bringing them out now. Pochette, uh, what is this? Pochette Accessoire in Damier Bean. Pochette Accessoire in uh, Monogram. And Pochette Accessoire in Damier Azur. So I have the trifecta for my Pochette Accessoires. I'm obsessed with these. Um, I believe the Monogram one is the oldest one. Um, so it's got a bit of wear on it, but I just, I love these. I, I use them as catch-alls. I, I use them when I travel. I've used them as purses. The younger one, the youngest one of the three would be the Damier Ebene. This was the one I got last in the collection. Um, I'm just, I'm just obsessed with it. The Damier Ebene has the red interior. It's in great condition. This one has a pocket. Um, there's a Jolly Rancher. <laughs> There's a Jolly Ranch candy in there. Um, but I absolutely love it. Um, you can tell this is also one of the newer ones just by also by the strap. The strap is a firmer, um, thicker strap and still in really, really, really excellent condi condition. Um, then you move on to the monogram one, which has seen a lot of wear and tear. I'm obsessed with this thing. It's got like receipts and stuff in it. Um, I would probably go and get this redone um to get the tab changed out um like all the leather trimming to get new leather trimming because this is very worn in very well loved obsessed i've used this as everything from a pencil case a catch-all um i used to put nappies in it or diapers in it uh baby wipes i've used this for so many things i used to go out clubbing with these with this i pack it as a toiletry obsessed this is just like just a very very excellent bag with a long strap i've done long gold chain with this love it and then the azure one obviously i mean can't go wrong as well again if i was to do anything with this i would take them in just to get the leather trimming done because this is another well worn piece especially for summer this i did get pre-loved because i could not find it at the time i was trying to complete my trifecta could not find it um in store or on the website so i ended up buying this one pre-loved um so i would definitely take this in and get the leather trim uh changed out but um this one is stuffed right now with just stuffing paper but um obsessed in the summertime this is a go-to bag for me 
looks great with all of those light outfits it's great to take out with you for cocktails and stuff happy hours and so on brunches obsessed with that i also have just mentioning um the insert of the this is the insert for my um never fall uh in the damia azor the gm never fall so this is the gm pochette that's in it right now this is housing my passport um and you know some travel documents um but i love using this because it's so slim it's a lot more slim than the um pusher accessoire this is just great to slide in um on the side of a bag or um you know in a briefcase or something it's just very easy ha to have this even just on your wrist when you're traveling if you have to bring out your documents a couple of times whilst you're traveling this is just a great um great travel piece so i really do love this so that's what this is being used for now and obsessed go i have my etui lunette which is uh my eyeglass case i use this for my prescription glasses um or for my prescription sunnies which are in there now um i'm obsessed these even fit my big giant sunnies and i'll actually bring those out now because the next item is my it's gonna sorry get the glare glare on you but um it's my louis vuitton uh sunnies obsessed with these um they do they are larger than my normal um sunnies that i wear my prescription sunnies um but they still fit in the, the toy lunette so i just want to show you that but love these love the detail here with the lv detail in the monogram really nice these are i believe called the um falling for you sunnies or fall for you sunnies so even a chunky, even the, the oversized sunnies do fit in this case as well. So a bit of a bulge. Probably if I put it in the other way, it wouldn't be so bad. But it does um, hold these as well, which my prescription sunnies are much, much slimmer. So yeah, but it does, um, it still does fit the oversized ones. So this was great, a great addition to the collection. I also have my round coin purse. I do have the round coin purse that is with the multi pochette accessoire. Um, but this one I bought independently prior to even getting that. Um, but love this. Um, have not used it. I, you know, I was being super honest that I haven't used this in a very long time. Um, I used to use this in my bag as a tech wallet and it would house my cords for my um, phones and so on and for my um, any charge any devices that I have but I haven't had to use that lately um, so it this has not gotten a lot of use in my collection honestly if I were to sell anything in my collection it'd probably be this because it just doesn't get any use um, but still something I have right now and you know maybe hopefully one day I'll have a chance to use again but this is the round coin purse this is my current wallet. Um, so this is, um, a bi I believe it's a business card holder or it's called a business card holder on the website. So it's basically just open up. There's a card slot here. Um, there's another slot back here and then the cards would be in there. Um, and there's like a little pocket here as well. So I use this as my card holder currently or my, my main wallet. This is where I kind of house everything. This is one of my five essential SLGs that I carry with me every single day single day um but yeah this is my card holder moving on to cosmetic bags so i have the cosmetic case this is in the pm size or the smaller size um again this is holding up so so well i use this all the time it always has things in it it actually has things in it now generally it's lippies so there's always some type of lip products in here um but when i travel it gets used a lot more um this is one that i would carry like in my purse for like my um you know any um makeup that i want to use to um you know change up my makeup traveling makeup but obsessed this is my cosmetics cosmetic case in the smaller size okay another item the next item um is my toiletry 26 um i use this to travel i've used this as a purse i've used this as a catch-all in my bag obsessed um i think that i don't know if they've discontinued the other sizes but this is definitely one that i would have gotten in all the sizes because it's just been such a clutch item i use this quite frequently um it's got the leather tab i just added this on here i do have a collection also of um luggage tags um and they're on various bags so you'll see them all over so i didn't feel to make um to make them a different 
category to show but you'll see them on different bags but yeah um my toilet 26 obsessed love this great item another you know clutch item great for a starter to start your collection as well it's very versatile love this toiletry 26 moving on to some desk desk items that i utilize um it would be my what is this called i forget what this is called if i can get, find the name i'll put it on the screen um oh i want to say it's like a toy something but i don't remember um but this is basically for my laptop or you can also put like documents in it it's very it's very mushy but i use this currently as my laptop case um so when while i'm traveling or if i'm working remotely i'll put my laptop in here and it also has um it has a little pocket here and in this pocket i just have like an adapter for my laptop so i can put in different um ports there but yeah it's a great great item um no complaints here it's great for documents if you're traveling you could even put documents in this when you're traveling as well um but currently i use it for my laptop or you can use it for like an ipad as well like an ipad case another office item and this is a newer one to my collection would be my uh agenda this is my desk agenda i got this during the holidays i unboxed it and unboxed miss obsessed with this i've been utilizing it already so i have my little my little dashboard it's not fancy so i haven't done like a what's in my uh <laughs> agenda yet because my planner is not that great <laughs> or like this there's, there's some people who do some amazing planning um amazing things with their planners i am not one of those people um so this is but this is my financial planner so it's like all of my financial goals and um you know bits and organization and so on so it's all about like financing that's why it says it's okay to be frugal um <laughs> which i try to remind myself but <laughs> you know you know we struggle so <laughs> but i'm obsessed i love this it's been a great addition um i've been having a great time utilizing it there's other ways you can set it up i think this is like the lazy girl way to set it up but this is like a planner book in here already that i just slid into the sleeve into the like pockets and just started using it so i'm utilizing it more like a book cover but i'm pretty sure there's um you know there's other ways you can look into that but that's my desk agenda not sure if this would fall under slg or what but um wanted to put this in um as a new purchase recent item i just unboxed which is my um the new strap the bandolier that i just got um to add to some of my um bags that i just recently got to my collection obsessed with this this is the only i guess just ba this bandolier that i bought just separate that doesn't really go with a bag um so i just gave it its own little category here but yeah this is the noir bandolier bandolier noir i believe that's how you say it i don't know but yeah that's this <laughs> showing off some other straps in the collection um these are the uh straps that go with the pochette accessoire multi pochette accessoire so i have it in the khaki color and i have it in the pink um obsessed i mean the pink one is just so it's upside down slow so beautiful because it has like this goldish kind of threading um i don't know if the camera is going to pick it up but it's just really really beautiful pink with this kind of iridescent gold threading kind of happening there and then the khaki one is again also a bit iridescent um giving off some dimension there in the stitching and it's this beautiful khaki color that i'm obsessed with and they both have the ketter tabs there and yep love these as additions to my i guess strap collection but these are specifically purchased with the um multi pochette accessoire uh unlike the bandolier which was by itself but or didn't really wasn't really connected to a bag um these were for that but i use these on everything and they're adjustable love these great segue into the multi pochette accessoire um so love this piece this is um the quintessential bag for me because of all of the pochettes 
I absolutely love this size pochette. I love the larger size pochette. I have them in my collection already. So buying this, ultimately how I justified buying this one was, it was, you know, a combination of all of the pochettes that I absolutely love. So I could not go wrong in buying these as like backups to what I already love. But I love how they're configured into this kind of, um, you know, purse situation. Love the gold hardware. And then here we go with the round coin purse again. This one being, um, uh, having the attachment so you can attach and detach it onto another bag um, also uh, it has the blown out large monogram on this side and then the mini monogram on this side so just a bit different from my other round coin purse a bit more um, updated and modern but obsessed I'm just obsessed with this we love this um, multi pochette accessoire yeah this is um my bum bag so this is the monogram bum bag obsessed also unboxed on my channel this is how i started my channel this is the item that started my channel um really just a favorite of mine i wear this quite a bit i did spray this with apple guard when i first got it and i feel like it is um it is aging really, really well. It's going into this beautiful, very tan, um, lovely color. Um, just obsessed with this. Nothing bad to say about the bum bag. I mean, what can you do? I do have a couple of bandoliers and I'll show you, not bandoliers, what do we call these? Um, bandos. I do have a couple of bandos that I want to show you, but this is one of the ones in my collection. Um, obsessed, love my bandos. Um, I have some that are kind of similar, so I'll keep this one in the back so you can see it. But I have one that looks similar to this, but is quite, it is different, um, and I'll show you why. But this is one, and I do use them often to um, accessorize my bags. So uh, fellow uh, YouTuber and fellow Instagram sis put me onto this uh, designer inspired uh scott box so this is not a louis vuitton scott box it is designer inspired it looks like the scott box but i do love it i don't wear it out but i do love it i keep this in my closet um with my handbags and this is where i house my bandos little little lock there and i put my bandos in here folded up and it's just a good place to have them kind of all together when they're not being used so i don't misplace them um but this is the other bandeau that I was telling you about. Um, very similar to the one that is on the bum bag, but the print is slightly different. Um, this one has a bit more gray in it than this one. This one is more black, white, and gold. And um, this is a thicker pattern and it has the square ends at the end, whereas this one has a bit more of that point or a little bit more like, almost like maybe what do they call this like a dovetail kind of situation happening here um this one is is different so it does it looks very similar but it's different i use this one quite often um uh to tie with like different outfits i'm wearing um i've worn this as a headband i use this on my neo noe um it's just a little bit of a thicker bandeau and gives a bit more of a pop and a bit more of a statement versus this one being a bit more thin and looking better on these top handle straps um, this one is also a thinner one. This is a thinner bandeau. Love this because it, it's very reminiscent, very classic Louis Vuitton print um, with the trunks and the bags all over it. Like just really quintessential Louis Vuitton monogram. Obsessed. So I love this. And I've got one more bandeau to show you. Here's another bandeau. This is not a Louis Vuitton bag. This is a Pauline numero un nano but um i have it tied with the louis vuitton bandeau on it that i'm just obsessed with i think that looks so cute so darling it's a bit of a braid and then there's a tail end so i didn't want to undo it <laughs> for the video because i don't even remember how i did this i was watching youtube one night and uh, while i was editing and did this so i didn't want to undo it so i left it on so this is not a louis vuitton bag ignore the bag but um just wanted to show you the bandeau and how it's decorated on the top handle i feel like bandeaus look really good on those stiff top handles like this versus the ones that are folded but that's that in the spirit of bandeaus, I wanted to show you also my um, scarf collection. So this is a monogram shine shawl or scarf, what have you, but 
let me tell you so this is not the prettiest okay so this one has been through some things this was my first one um and i tried to following some youtube um instructions try to uh wash it on my own um and i should not have done that so it does not have the same uh presence as let's say um this one which is another shine shawl this one is newer um this one has not been laundered um or not treated or anything like how i did this one so i yeah i abused this one this has pulls on it probably has makeup stains on it um this has been a bit through the ringer so it's still not it's just not as pretty i guess as this one but um but these are monogram shine shawls they're a bit larger than i guess your typical um scarf would be so i still use these um i'll use this to travel with i'll use it as a wrap on the plane and you know sometimes planes can be a bit cold um i'll use this a little bit more casually now versus this one i'm still very um i'm still very delicate with this one they do pull very very easily so when when you're wearing jewelry and so on you have to be very careful um with your shine shawls but this one i'm still a bit more delicate with and i take this out for not special occasions but when i'm a bit more put together i put this one on whereas this one you know this you could definitely possibly see at the market like you know or i'm going you know down the street or what have you i'm going to the car wash <laughs> i've got this on so yeah this is a bit more of a casual piece because i i did not i did not treat this well so i would tell you do, do not try to launder it yourself regardless of what youtube tells you um please please dry clean your your shine shawls okay <laughs> moving into some jewelry we have my louis vuitton cruiser earrings um these were new additions to uh my collection we got this during uh christmas time last year so during unbox miss obsessed separate them so you can see them they are so adorable and here is another pair of earrings from louis vuitton these are the louis vuitton louise hoops just obsessed with these as well i wear these all the time talk about course per wear now every time i say course per wear i think of connor's video he cracks me up um he was talking about annoying things that um youtubers do and talking about um course per wear but seriously um talking about course per wear this um these earrings i've definitely got in my course per wear on they have just been workhorses in my collection i wear these like almost every other video obsessed with these really love these these are the louise hoops and this is a louis vuitton canvas bracelet uh, again just obsessed i don't remember the name the exact name of this bracelet i'll put it up on the screen or i will put a cutaway of the item the product um online on the website if i can find it but obsessed with this it's actually leather on the inside canvas on the outside um and then it has these you know gold tone little hardware here that you just press that button and it opens and it opens up and then you click it together really love this little subtle touch of lv when you want to be luxe maybe on a casual or understated note it's just really nice but the balls have um you know a little bit of a little bit of sparkle to it really nice this this has been holding up really well as well this is over a year old and it's been holding up really well and these are my louis vuitton trainers um you know i'm obsessed with trainers you know i have several luxury trainers in my collection i have humongous feet so these are from the men's side um i did get these pre-loved i did unbox them on the channel did i unbox them i may have unboxed them on the channel or talked about them um when i got them but they were in brand new perfect pristine condition got them from fashion file obsessed they look very much like one of of the louis vuitton sneakers um that they currently have on the website um but it's just a little bit different i believe it said like louis vuitton up here or something like that it's just a tad tad different but i'm obsessed with these i wear them quite a bit especially in the summer months um you know i get a lot of wear out of these um i won't show you the disgusting bottoms but um <laughs> but just wanted to show you these in my collection of course it's in monogram love the monogram in black of course that's also just stunning obsessed
All right, so we're in full blown handbag mode now. So we're gonna start showing you some of the bags um, in my collection. I feel like that was all of the bits leading up to the bags. So first things first would be my Palm Springs Mini in the reverse monogram obsessed. I just recently did a video on this bag. I mean, nothing but amazing things to say about it. I have nothing bad to say about this bag. It's like, it's like one of my top bags of 2021. Um, and I see myself using this again in 2021. 2022 quite a bit but um this is going to be a great segue into my backpacks because i do love a good backpack and i have a couple of backpacks into my in my collection so even though this does have the uh d-rings as a backpack i don't wear it as a backpack so but still it's still a backpack so that's the palm springs mini in the monogram verse and this is the palm springs backpack in the mm size which was the biggest size with the puffy uh straps obsessed use this for everything from work to travel um i was using this recently just even just to run around with great piece it is the monogram with the black um the black treated leather for the handle up here as well as for the strap the black straps the back straps are adjustable so you can adjust them here this i find this adjustment system though to be a little bit difficult to navigate versus some of the other ones that louis vuitton has done in the past so these balls are really hard to come through these little slots that they created for them but it is adjustable um, to make it super comfortable this is a very comfortable backpack obsessed great 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 travel great for school great for work all the things another backpack in my collection that doesn't get as much love as it used to i'm not going to say it's retired it just hasn't gotten um as used is the louis vuitton um gm montessori 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 backpack um obsessed with this um i did get this so i bought this pre-loved it was in <laughs> It needed some definite um some definite love and so i took it to louis vuitton got all the leather changed out on it and um, brought it home sprayed it down with apple guard and it has patinaed lovely i mean there's some and i used the mess out of this i did use the mess out of it but i haven't used it i'm not gonna lie probably in about a year i haven't used it i've just been reaching for some other things but still um a, a one a piece that i absolutely adore um does have a little bit of wear happening in the back here which happens with when you have these bottoms especially with no feet and all of this exposed vaquetta so you do get some staining there a little bit and um, just from placing it down from it rubbing against your body you get a little bit of um color transfer but i absolutely still love this i think it looks amazing best time just changing this out it was just such a good idea to do it and this bag is from 1996 so it looks fantastic so yeah monstery gm the gm size this is the biggest with this gold super cool gold handle moving along to something smaller little uh tbe tiny bag energy this is as tiny as it's gonna get for me <laughs> my small bag energy so this is the um alma bb in um the damier bean size got this for my birthday about two birthdays ago i was on the hunt for this bag like i needed this bag obsessed and honestly i've probably worn this bag twice since then <laughs> i'm not i've not really worn this bag since getting it but it still is an excellent excellent condition i mean it it looks literally like brand new like there's no there's hardly anywhere on this um but i still love this still love this in my collection i think this is an excellent bag only only caveat is that i wish that the um strap was adjustable um the strap is a bit it's i mean it works but it's just it's very stiff because it has not had any real wear so it's very stiff and it can be a little bit unforgiving depending on what you're wearing but um other than that this is just the um the lock and key situation this is probably the only time you ever see me with a lock on my bag um just to give it a little bit of character but obsessed love this this is the armor bb and the dummy a bean one of my next tiny bags or what i would consider tiny bag tiny bag for me my tiny bag energy for me would be uh, a new a newbie to the collection which is the speedy 20 obsessed i mean 
I've done videos on this. I unboxed this recently. This is super new to the collection. I have it with the pink strap. Um, yeah, obsessed. I mean, nothing but great things to say about it. More to come with this one. We'll play with this um, a lot in the next coming weeks. You know, we'll do some things with it. We'll spray it down. Still have not had a chance to spray it down with Apple Guard. So we'll do that soon. But yeah, here's the Speedy 20, obsessed another tiny bag energy for me in my collection would be the slack plat bb in the monogram print with this beautiful red interior so good the strap is inside and we just we love this this is also new to the collection the keta is super light have not had a chance to um to spray that down as yet so we'll play around with this one in the next coming weeks as well but obsessed doesn't look like a smiley face <laughs> love this moving on from the tiny bags to something a bit bigger and that would be my speedy collection um so this is the speedy 30 in the damier azure and again love this it's aging so well. I got these handles online. I've had some people ask me before where I got these handles. I got them from Etsy. You can just um, go to Etsy, Etsy and look for, um, what is it called? Love handles is the name. And you can go in there and get those, but absolutely love them. It's just a good idea to protect um, the vaquetta from staining um, and getting darker too soon prematurely. But this is my Speedy 30 in the Damier Azure with the bandolier. This is my Damier Ibim. Also in the 30 size. The 30 size is my sweet spot. I'm obsessed with it. I love the 30. Um, I bought this one. I believe I bought this pre-loved, I think. But it's in super amazing, amazing condition. Um, still in amazing condition. And I've worn the mess out of this. And I mean, look at the... The pull tab is still super firm and and tight. Um, it has not worn at all. This this bag is just so amazing. Um, so this is uh, the Speedy 13 Damier Bean. This is not the bandolier. So and then it is treated leather. So I don't have any um, any love handles on here, but obsessed has the puff chaps. This one also has the pocket with the zipper. So the inner pocket has a zipper here, whereas with the Azure one, which is an older model, and it also has double zips there, but I think that's because it's of the bandolier, um, does not have, it does not have a zipper. So there's no zipper on the older models. So if you're looking for some differences from the older styled um, speedies to the newer ones, that zipper pocket is a telltale sign. And also the chaps, the chaps on the older model are flat and flush to the bag. And on the newer model is a bit more puffy and lifted up. And then we have Big Mama. I'll move these guys, move these guys back a bit because then we have Big Mama, which is my Speedy 35 in a uh, monogram. And this bag I bought as a joke, not as a joke, joke, but like as a workhorse bag. Like I bought this bag to abuse it. Um, this was supposed to be, this was my work bag at one point. Um, so I could throw a laptop in here. I can throw gym clothes in here. I could cut, throw, um, you know, anything I needed for the day and just kind of you know make a run for it and um i ended up obsessed with this obsessed with this size i've worn this i sprayed it down with apple guard when i first got it i got it pre-loved um I worn this in the snow in the rain it's gotten rained on i mean it's gotten mushed into lockers at the gym and so on and honestly it still looks amazing um it has patinaed so beautifully i do not baby this one at all like i work this bag out it does have the bandolier um and it just it looks i mean it looks so good um 
I really, I just love the way this looks. So now that it's a little bit abused, I love the weathered, worn in kind of, you know, um, <laughs> favorite sweater feel of this. So I will wear this casually a lot, especially in the summer. I will throw on jeans, flip flops, a t-shirt, this bag, and I'm out the door. And it's just great because whilst you're out shopping or what have you, you can stuff things in it. You've got a water bottle. It can go in there. You know, if you want to change your shoes, let's say you went out with some fancy pretty shoes and then you want to change into like some flip flops and move around later on you can have like it's just a great great bag and then with this strap honestly i mean just the things and i love that the strap has three pieces so you can also shorten it and make it like shoulder length which i love that shoulder length it falls right along the side of your body or you can do it longer and have a cross body slouchy look and it just looks effortlessly chic obsessed and of course, another lug luggage tag on this one. I think the luggage tags probably make it to my, some of my favorite pieces, but yeah. So that's the Speedy Collection. So that's the Monogram, Damier Bean, and the Azor. okay? They can't all fit in the frame. <laughs> so that's the Speedies. We love Speedies here. This is a Speedy household. <laughs> so since we're doing multiples, wanted to show my other multiples here um, <laughs> of handbags. So this would be the Louis Vuitton uh, Pochette Matisse in Emprunt Leather in the Marion Rouge, um, which is navy and red. It matches that uh, pochette that I showed earlier. Um, obsessed, it's just stuffed with some paper right now, but um, I really, really wanted uh, a all leather um, bag from Louis Vuitton, wanted the Pochette, Pochette Matisse was very popular about, you know, a year or two ago. I mean, it's still, it's still up there, but it was really at like the epitome when I got this. Um, and I wanted it in a leather version. So I have the leather one and of course the traditional, um, monogram, um, Pochette, uh, Matisse upset upset <laughs> obsessed <laughs> obsessed with this one i mean what can you say about this you know this was a bag at one point that was highly coveted you know people were on wait lists for you know a year or more trying to get this piece and um yeah i was so happy to get it um actually online um i ordered it on off the website and um went to pick it up in store and it was just you know perfect so I don't, haven't had any issues. I mean, there may be some glazing issues happening now in the corner. So I don't know, I would probably go and get that looked at. But honestly, I have not had a problem um, with these bags, especially, well, especially not this one. Maybe maybe the monogram maybe may have some um, areas of concern that uh, like a trained eye may, may find. But um for the <laughs> Marlin Rouge, no, there's nothing. Like the glazing on this is so thick. They were not playing. Louis Vuitton was like, you are not going to be cracking like your cousin. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. So, but yeah, love these. So these are my Pouchette Matisse. All right. And then here we have the Neo Noé in monogram and noir or monogram and black. Um, this is just another workhorse bag in the collection. Definitely a rich auntie approved bag. Obsessed with this. It's just so elegant. Looks so great. Has an adjustable black strap. Has the snaps on it. Similar to that new strap that I just got. The new band bandolier that I got. Um, so it has like this sliding mechanism with the snaps on it. Which are so much easier to use than the little balls and the little holes situation so love the adjustable strap love the fact that the strap is removable so we can definitely put different straps on there this did not come with it got this from amazon when i bought this bag i bought this from amazon so i have to say this handle has been holding up so well i don't even think it's real leather to be honest with you it was just off of you know the amazon site and um i just love the braided look of it and it gave it a little bit more versatility and a different way to hold it and grab it or like grab it out of the car versus fumbling with the longer strap you could just grab it by that handle obsessed but i love the fact that you can change out the handle with this you can um 
you can deck you can like doll it up i've done uh bandeaus in here where i've threaded the bandeau through and give it a bit of a look right here so it can um you know just to jazz it up a bit love the little middle pocket situation here and the middle pocket is monogram i'm not sure if the light will catch it but just really a great really pretty bag very um not, not not like everything else it kind of looks like a never fall that's been cinched in but smaller and a little nicer so it's not you know so when you want something a little bit different and you don't want to wear just your normal never falls or your speedies or what have you you want a different silhouette um i love this and i do i do tend to like a bucket bag as well so this is right on my alley no feet or anything on this but honestly the canvas has been holding up so well i mean there's no need for the feet to be honest love this so this is the neo no way all right so now we're going to go into the big bag energy so this is the bigger the bigger bags um and that would be my starting my neverfall collection um so i have the monogram neverfall with the mimosa lining i have the azure neverfall with the rose ballerine lining these bags are super floppy and all over the place so it's going to be a hot mess showing this to you but <laughs> and we have of course the dummy 80 bean with the red lining um for the never falls the never falls are massive all of my never falls are in the gm size um try to put them all together in the shot there the white is getting blown down a bit there we go but obsessed i i love these travel with them you, you know all the things there's nothing bad to say about the neverfall gm it is a workhorse bag for me obsessed so but i have these three in my collection would love to get the all leather one was waiting to see if they released that in the gm size because the gm size is my sweet spot for my body frame and for what i like but yeah that's uh my neverfall collection a bit of a throwback and i've been saying for a while now a while now that i need to take this into louis vuitton to get it um to get it all the leather changed out hopefully i'll get to do that this year um it's just time has just not been on, on my side to get it done and then um with the pandemic and everything you know it just hasn't been the ideal time to get it done but look how love look how well loved this is boy so this is the louis vuitton delightful um this is a collab that happened gosh i want to say this was when was it mark jacob was designing for louis vuitton this is in very old style but i love this hobo style this is like a never fall but in a shoulder more comfortable relaxed shoulder um bag situation i love this this is a great bag when i was using this i really enjoyed using this piece it um it holds a ton these pockets are actually functioning pockets so they can actually hold things they're great to just you know slide your phone into or something like that i love this it does have a little bit of a clip here so that you can snap this closed for um for it to have a little bit of structure but it's not supposed to be a, stru a structured bag this is like hobo style but it's very comfortable like it lays against the body very comfortably it's like a never fall but with a thicker strap it's a bit more comfortable i i just i love this i need to get the leather redone on this because this i feel like big bags are going to be coming back in and this hobo style is going to be so great and this you know this being a bit of an older style the canvas and so on on this is you know just exquisite so definitely need to do that maybe i'll take you lot with me on that journey to getting this um bag uh revitalized and bring it back to life but yeah i'm obsessed so this is the delight almost done guys another big bag because we do love a big bag here and that would be the louis vuitton on the go in the monogram reverse monogram so we've got the reverse monogram small print here um, traditional monogram small print here oversized blown out monogram on this side and then oversized reverse monogram blown out on this side no feet on this bag so there's no feet um obsessed it has this beautiful red lining 
I've got junk in there still. Um, I did recently use this bag for a work event. Such a great bag to carry a laptop in, to carry your lunch, to carry your shopping, to carry, I mean, for errands and so on. You wouldn't even think it was that good, but it really is. Um, it has this beautiful long strap in the black coated leather. Um, I do have a, um, a luggage tag on this love the all the love the variation of like the monogram the um reverse monogram and then the traditional monogram the mini monogram and then the big monogram love all those little touches and those little contrasts i find them to be super super attractive like i really love the the difference in the handle versus the rest of the bag the little touches of the monogram on these little studs on the ends um on those reinforced tabs like i really really love all of those little touches um this is one of my favorite bags in my collection like i reach for this and i try to find situations where i have to use this bag it's super structured so it's super squared out at the bottom um don't know about traveling with it as yet we'll see how that goes i don't know if this would be a bag that i would gravitate to for traveling but as for my day-to-day -day, like running around um as long as i don't have to be like hands-free even though i could be hands-free because this strap is long enough that it fits comfortably over the arm of a coat a puffy coat or what have you so this strap is um comfortable enough to for me to be able to wear it um and be hands-free but I don't know if I would want to travel with this because I feel like I would be very upset if something happened to it or if I had to put it like under my seat or over, you know, an overhead or something like that and it got mushed, I'd be upset. So if that's the case, then that's probably not, this is not the travel bag that we will be picking. But yeah, I love my on the go. I use it every day or every day that I can. Look at that. Even the, the handles being, you know, they're contrasting handles. So when you hold them together, it's like opposite. Like I love that. Love it. And then last but certainly not least would be my um, keep all in the 50 size. I am obsessed with this bag. I use this for every um, overnight trip, when I travel internationally, when I travel domestically. I mean, it's just such a great bag. I have other bags that I would use for a gym bag, so I haven't had to use it for things like that, like a gym bag or anything like that. But anytime I have like a quick getaway or I'm going away for a bit of an overnight stay or what have you, um, you know, I will take this with me. Or if I have to do something, um, you know, with my kids and they need like just, you know, to take an overnight bag, we're using this, love these. I would have them like in every print. <laughs> um, I, you know, I do, I, I really do like this. And how you can tell the size, I don't know if you, if you lot know, but it says it there hopefully the light is catching it it says it along the strap so if you're ever trying to figure out where the sizing is it's usually on the bandolier and this one is the bandolier size i could not do this though if it wasn't um if it wasn't in the bandolier size i i, I don't know uh style i don't know how people um wear this and it's in or they carry these and it doesn't have the bandolier I, I feel like the bandolier is necessary for this size maybe if it was a smaller maybe the 45 you can get away with it but i feel like 50 and up you need the bandolier and the bandolier is reinforced with this shoulder strap or this little shoulder cushion situation happening here and i've even used this strap on my 35 depending on what i'm doing with the 35 i've changed out the straps and used um this strap on there as well but i don't baby this bag at all um yeah we love this one and that is the key 450. when i end up down here then you know that it has been a bear i am done i'm pooped i am knocked out because now i have to put all of this back so that's always the biggest challenge when you're filming it's like no i don't want to put it back but i have to but anyway so that's it that's my louis vuitton collection nieces nephews fellow aunties don't forget to like comment subscribe hit that bell notification so you know when auntie ren is here dropping these gems dropping these collections what do i need in my collection i need some color i do i need some color i know what else tell me what else what else do you think i need in the collection i'm open to ideas but thank you so much for stopping by to catch another one i will catch you soon hope everyone's well enjoy your week have a fabulous fabulous one wherever you are bye